Here's a quick video demonstrating Node Red in order to configure the controller. And this would work for the Leaf controller or that 200 kilowatt controller that from Instructables or whatever. Pretty much any controller that we're going to be coming out with, this this will work. So there's uh, a few different tabs available. There's this is a where you can kind of see a, a, some data streaming in the form of like little um, gauges, and it shows the faults on the side over here. And let's see, we can also go to where you can configure settings. And let's see, lots of settings that you can adjust. This is much easier than typing the individual commands in uh, through like a serial communications program, like how I used to do it. And so, what else is there? Okay, so anyway, let's let's turn on the motor and do do a quick demonstration here. So I've got a leaf motor hooked up right now that's uh, at 46 volts DC input, and let's go to data stream again. So I'm going to turn it up here. Turn it on. There we go. And it's running now, but notice the data's not streaming. That's because I haven't turned it's not turned on. So let's go over to controller settings. Let's set the let's read what the current saved values are. Okay, this is what this controller currently has on it. So let's change the data stream period. How about alright, three, why not? Three tenths of a second. Every three tenths of a second, it sends some data. So let's go over here. Okay. So I just have it set to about zero throttle. So the current is, you know, I, ID ref and IQ ref are both zero. And we'll give it a little bit of a. Oh, by the way, resolver here. That means that's the position of the resolver, the motor shaft. So you can turn the shaft by hand if you want. You could see the position change there. So let's give it a little bit of throttle. Let's see. See how. Okay, so at 45 volts or so, it's DC bus voltage. This is the Leaf 2013 Leaf running. And it's doing uh, at 45 volts, about it's about 980 RPM. Okay, and notice the back EMF is 100%, so that's as fast as it'll go without field weakening. And let's see, we can take a look at the field weakening where you could adjust that over on the controller settings. This, the speed limits here, this is where you can configure the curve of how you want it to, uh, when you want the field weakening to kick in at what RPM and that, that type of a thing. So that's what FW stands for, field weakening. So anyway, now we're going to go to some real-time graphs here. So you can see there's temperatures and currents and back EMF and RPM. So for example, the RPM is close to 1,000 right now. So we could turn it down and watch it go towards zero. It's going to zero. And then you can go to let's see node red the where you actually change the setting I mean where you actually change the actual node red program the what do they call these the flows and you can adjust like what com port you're using okay I'm using com5 alright and you could change it to some other com port if you're using another com port and you could change ranges of values and everything is all very flexible it's very easy to use so much nicer than doing everything typing it by hand well alright that is about well let's do it one more time let's go again Yahoo! so now sorry just this is kinda of fun okay so let's sh shut it off now goodbye and thanks for watching